Hello everyone. Welcome to a new session on Strat Pro Connectedation. So in this lesson, we will learn how to assign the offset specification in different members and how this offset specification is helpful in terms of our analysis. So let's get started. Here, uh, I will take a single bay so that it will be easy to understand actually. So what I will do, I will go to the top view and I will just select one bay to make you uh, easily understand. So I will just click on new view and display the view in the active window. Okay. I will go to the front view here. Here you can see we have one bay only and what I will do, I will run the analysis because I, I have already uh, defined the loads as you have seen, all the loads are defined accordingly. So I will just run the analysis here. Done. Now what I will do, I will go to post processing and I will check the major moment MZ only for the dead load here. So I hope it is clearly visible. So here, uh, if I just turn on the annotate also, so beam results, ends and midpoint. Right. So uh, let me just uh, see here for this beam. If you see the hogging uh, moment here, it is 39.711. Here it is around. 40.532 okay so here two moments we are getting it is one is from from the column actually so uh, we are more concerned about the beam so what i will do i will just select the beam so that you can easily see these values like this beam you i'll create a new so you can see here the results of the beam for hogging and sagging moment right so here it is around 39.711 40 here in this direction and at the mid we have 22 but this mid uh, span the sagging moment is not our concern our concern is the hogging moment here now why this hogging moment is our concern if you see here this hogging moment the the software is considering from the center line of the column okay from the center line of the column and the software will also design the members according to these moments that we are getting from the analysis result. Okay, so according to these moment values, the software will perform the design of this uh, of these members. But if we see the IS code, so I will just open IS four five six two thousand, the latest version we have. Okay, you can also download from BIS portal. So if you see here. The clause number 22.6, critical section for moment and shear. So if you see here, it is written uh, very clearly in the 22.6.1. Uh, for monolithic construction, the moments computed at the face of the support shall be used in the design of members at those sections. Okay, whenever you are doing monolithic construction, like most of the times we go for this only. In that case, the moments at the face of the members or face of the support shall be used in the design of uh, members at those sections. Now, design for moment and design for share also. For non-monolithic construction, the design you need to just check 22.2, like the effective span sometimes, or maybe uh, there are different criteria. But I'm more concerned about the monolithic construction, and in that case, it is saying that it, you should design the members with the moment at the support uh, support face not at the mid uh, center line of the support. so what result we are getting here in in stat pro just close this so basically we are getting the result like this let me just draw a bit suppose we have columns and we have beams okay so i will just make it a continue uh, so what we are getting if if this is my center line of the column and this is my center line of the beam so the result we are getting like this something like this right this is my hogging moment area this is my pegging moment area okay this is my hogging moment area and this is my sagging moment area 
but as per the code what we have to do as per the code the sagging moment should be considered here at the face of the support you can see this is the face of the support so the sagging moment should be considered here so if you see that this particular part this extra moment with we are getting in a uh, stat result it is not required for the design as per code we need to get only this particular amount of uh, hogging movement for the design of this b right as per is 456 2000 clause 22.6.1 okay so now how we can uh, change these things how we can correct these things in shape how we can do that okay uh, let's see so what i will do in that case this uh, the offset specification is very helpful now let us see how we can do this offset specification now what i will do i will go back to my analytical modeling and i will click on this specification in this specification uh, what we have to do i will just click on this beam and if you see this offset here offset option it is asking for the location start and end now how to understand the location start and end for a beam or for a column for that if you go to just right click here and if you go to labels here under this labels tab you will find this beam ends and you will see the start color is green and the end color is blue and what is the shortcut for this the shortcut is actually shift e okay the shortcut is shift e so how we can do that the start color and color we need to turn on here to understand which direction is start and which direction is end so i'll just close it and i will press shift e and here you can see for all columns and beams it is showing the start and end that means this green area is the start of the beam and the blue area is end of the beam so in our case we need this offset from both directions okay now if you see if i just press shift e now you can see the beams are connected with the center line of the column right so what i will do i will again press shift e so we have got all the start points are in the left side and all the endpoints are in the right side okay so i will turn off this and i will go to beam i will click on offset and first i will start uh, location i will choose start now our column size that we have selected it is 400 by 400 if i just double click here let me just close it and double click here you can see it is 400 by 400 column so that means if i want this beam to be at the face okay so how much offset we need to give give actually there will be a uh, finite element connection with the center line but we are just shifting uh, the beam to the face but there will be always a finite element connection with the center line of the column okay you will just see uh, in a while so what i will do i will uh, click on beam and offset i will i'll be choosing start so this direction will be start if you see the local uh, global axis it is x direction in from left to right so if i want this beam to shift or to offset in this direction 200 mm so what i have to do i have to just give in the x direction 0 0.2 meters for location start direction is for global okay i'll click on add again i will click on beam offset and i will choose end now now this direction is the end okay this uh, uh the right side of all the beams so now i will give a negative value with 0 0.2 means 200 mm in the direction opposite to the x direction right this direction from right to left so i'll click on add now if i just select all the beams pressing control i am selecting all the beams i will select start assign to selected beams assign yes okay so you can see it is shifted now and similarly i will do for the ends also assign to selected beams assign yes and you can see now the beams are physically shifted but there is a finite element connection always obviously without that you cannot like the beams will be floating at the uh, on the air right but it is not the real case so now after giving this offset if i just run the analysis i will just run the analysis and design again i am doing it for this particular bay only you can do it for the whole structure 
and i will click on done i will go to post processing for all loads i will turn off displacement i'll turn on this mz my major axis moment so now you can see the moments we are getting and not from the center line but from 200 mm offset that means from the face of the column and if you see the values now if i just go to results and uh, i will annotate beam results beam ends okay I'll just select the beam ends now and suppose i will be selecting these uh, beams only so i'll take beam cursor right click new view create a new view so previously it was around 39 now it, you can see it is 33.391 for which i need to design this beam. for which i need to design this beam so this is the actual value of uh, hogging moment which should be used uh, for the design of this uh, particular beam element okay when uh, we'll con we are considering this as a monolithic construct so this is how this offset specification is very helpful and we can use it for the whole structure for all the directions okay and uh, we will be getting the exact result so i hope uh, uh, this this video will be helpful uh, for you so this is it for this lesson and see you guys in the next lesson thank you